Welcome to Mr. Cook's Corner. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a special tool that I use to help me set up my class rosters for the year. We're gonna get started in about six and a half seconds, but first, let's check this out. Okay, I'm utilizing a Google Sheets template that I created myself. It's in my Teachers Bay Teacher Store. You can find the link in the description below. Let's take a look at how this can help you, your admin, just about anybody who's getting ready to set up class rosters for the year. Okay, today I wanna to show you guys a really valuable tool that you may find useful in your classrooms. This is a class placement template on Google Sheets. I will link to it in the description. It's super cheap on my Teachers Pay Teachers account. And you can use this in a number of ways, but the primary function that I developed it for was to help develop class rosters for a grade level. This comes in super handy for admin and teams who help build out grade level classes. However, you can also use this as a classroom teacher with your roster of students for a number of other things such as grading, tallying things up. I've left some of the columns blank in order to be filled in and you can label them whatever you want. Let's take a look at some of the things on here. As you can see here, I've made a completely made up class. Nothing in here is identifiable information. However, you can see the key of some of the identifying factors that I've chosen to use in this case, such as students who are identified as boy or girl, special education, pace or accelerated instruction, students receiving dyslexia services, gifted and talented students, students with documented behaviors, English learners, specialized reading programs, you could use math, you could use response to intervention, and then students who have section 504 plans. You can see in columns P, Q, and R, they're left blank because you can fill them in with whatever you want. These are just a sample of some of the things you can use them for. You'll notice at the bottom and top of each column are summed totals. We used a simple formula called sum to add up all the ones in a given column to show you the total amount for a given column. So in this case, we have eight boys. So looking across at Nancy Baker, for example, you can see we have her marked down for girl, special education services, English language learner. Here we see Deontay Jordan is a boy and he is receiving gifted and talented services. If we have a new student, we just simply fill out their name, fill in their student ID, their date of birth, and then from there, we simply put a one in each column that that person identifies under. So for example, Harrison may be a boy with pace accelerated learning, documented behaviors, and he receives a section 504 plan. You may also have noticed that the columns did add up automatically. So before we had eight boys and now, it goes up to nine. Out to the side is a space for notes for each student where you can add pertinent information that you feel is necessary. Organizing them alphabetically is super simple. You simply grab all the way across to the notes line, drag down, and from there you click data, then sort range by column A to Z. And now you can see Smith is slotted in perfectly between Samson and Thompson. The template comes with five teacher tabs built in. And if you have other teachers, you simply right click on a teacher and click duplicate. Then you simply right click again and rename it whatever you want. The best part about this is that it's a Google Sheet, so it's shareable, you can work with others. Please just be sure to be cognizant of your FERPA laws within your school district or school that you choose to use this in. Once again, this is available on my Teachers Pay Teachers. The link is in the description. Hey, you, watch more videos. 